simplified uh, electron configuration. Okay, so this is how we're going to simplify some of them. An alternate way of writing the electron configuration for carbon is He, 1s2, 2p2. What is helium? What is helium? What do we know helium as being? Not, don't tell me it's the stuff we put in balloons to make them rise. <laughs> okay, it's a noble gas, right? Because what do we know about all noble gases? They're full, right? They're stable because their valence shell, or sorry, their valence energy level is full, right? So which energy level is full? The 1s. Because now we're on the second energy level, right? Which is 2s and then the uh, 2p2. So carbon, if we look at the periodic table, is on the second energy level, which means that all the ones in front of it, okay, so represent the noble gas. So instead of writing this 1s in square brackets, we write down the symbol for, for, for helium. Because the noble gas that represents the 1s2, okay, is helium. Okay, so we'll look at it in just a second uh, with, uh, with our example. Okay, so let's look at an example here. So potassium, right? We know potassium. Okay, here's potassium. Okay, so here it's, uh, sorry, oops, it's on the fourth. Sorry, second. So we know it's occupying the 1s, or it's occupying the 2s, the 2p, right? 3s, 3p, the 4s, right? How many on this uh, 1s? Two electrons. So all the s's, two electrons, except for the 4, right? Because it is occupying how many electrons? One. How about all the p's? Six. But now, it's on the fourth energy level, which means all this represents which noble gas? Argon. So instead of writing all that, we can write argon. So we go up until argon, and then after argon, it's 4s1. So instead of drawing all that, we find where argon is, and then we recognize that. 